All right, going to be taking a look at another one, DTII. A lot of talk about this one. Uh, now you guys are down 11% today. Just brought up over here on investorshangout.com forward slash live. Uh, so what are you guys seeing here? Obviously a big move yesterday. There's, you know, it's obvious. Okay, you guys come from 001 was at yesterday. Where did you guys open it? 001 to three. I mean, that's so much money was made there literally in, in, in one day. It's not even funny. I mean, there's a big move here. Uh, on massive volume, 43 million shares vol uh, 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 traded. You know, so what happens here is that when you get a big day like that, everybody's, oh, it's going to keep going. It's going to keep going. Could it? Sure. Yeah, absolutely it could. Uh, you guys gapped up. You guys know how I am with the gaps. If it gaps up, there's a good chance that things just going to pull right back down. Gaps up. All these people down here are, you know, not to get into big spew of uh, gap ups, but right down here, all these people, uh, you know, the pros that are getting in here. It's hitting their scanner way down here. They know that this thing's running. They get in. Uh, you know, people are getting in up here right at the close yesterday. And then today it opens up higher. All these pros down here know when it gaps up, there's a good chance it's going to pull back. They'll sell. Uh, some of them might have a lot of shares, whatever the case might be. And the stock starts going down. Everybody freaks out over here and they start selling. And then the stock goes down. That's usually what happens here with these stocks. Um, I, I, I'm not saying it happens every single time, but like I say, eight to nine out of 10 times. Yes, it will happen this way. Uh, that's what you're going to be seeing here now. I mean, it, could it turn around? There's a possibility. Sure, it could. Uh, but, I mean, personally, I would have liked to see this yesterday. When it was getting to about right here, 0051, I would have known for sure that this one was going to blast off. But now you guys gapped up. It's pulling down. I would hold on this one, wait to see how this one plays out the next few days. It might start trending down now uh, to find a support line maybe down there at the 015, maybe. I don't know. Uh, I would just hold off on it for now. All right, so they had a uh, press release yesterday, and it was Defense Technologies International cancels application for reverse split. So Defense Technology International Corp., a developer of security technologies, cancels its application for a reverse split. The company previously filed a no notification with FINRA for a proposed reverse split of the company's issued an outstanding common stock due to certain circumstances related to the filing and the inability to secure final approval of the action, the company decided not to pursue effectiveness of the stock split. The company's business, uh, the Offender Alert Passive Scan, the company's Offender Alert Passive Scan is a next-generation walkthrough detector scanning unit. This patented and trademarked passive scanning system allows for detecting and identifying concealed threats such as guns, knives, etc. Unlike other scanners, the public is more familiar with Passive security scan does not use X-ray to detect threats. Serious health concerns have been raised over the repeated exposure to X-rays from other scanning machines currently in use. The offender alert passive scan scanner technology is based on the Earth magnetic fields, has no emission whatsoever, and is therefore extremely safe and harmless to the person passing through our portal. So they got their website up there. It's www.defensetechnologiesinternational, but just uh, abbreviated with the international, intl.com. And that's right there in that press release. So if you want to continue reading and researching more about this company, I mean, right now they're, uh, they're on the QB as well. So if you want to continue doing some due diligence on this company, you can go right over to that DTII board over on Investors Hangout. From there, you'll see the company profile, the time and sales, the recent news, the filings, the financials, a buy rating. And as always, if you have an opinion or you're looking for an opinion on this particular company, feel free to share it on that DTII message board with the tens of thousands of like-minded investors that are using the site daily. All right. With the chart 0270, hold for now until this finds bottom, uh, in my personal opinion. Might trend down to 0145-ish area. If buying pressure does not return, support at 02 and 0145. Uh, resistance is going to be at 0329, 04, and 0540. So uh, that, that's just my personal opinion. I, uh, you know, looking off of this, this gap up, like I explained here uh, briefly a minute ago. So. Again, if you follow the stock, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. We'd appreciate it. If you have a hot stock that you would like to share with us, head over to investorshangout.com forward slash live.